Welcome to the channel, my pack cracking family. Clever Magic Trevor here, yes. Early in the morning, ah, just filming and having fun. So, uh, we got a battle right now. We got a battle and we got lots of fun things going on. I've uh, got a number of things to ship out. Some people that didn't get their stuff from last week, it still needs to be shipped out. Actually, I think it was the end of the following week. Um, and it didn't get shipped out last week because uh, for one, I put them in my bag and then I haven't been taking my bag to work. And um, so those four of you uh, did not get your 2021 collector's packs, I guess. Um, so those are going out today. Uh, also, the rest of the winnings from Fireside, two Firesides in a row, those, those will be going out today. Um, and then what we've opened up uh, in this last week, at the end of last week, so uh, I got a lot of stuff going out. I apologize, but I appreciate your patience. And many of you have already told me uh, there's not a whole lot of paper magic going on right now. So you're okay with that. Um, it's, you know, it's still fun to open on the channel. So uh, as things go along, I am going to be asking uh, for help that uh, we'll kind of talk about on another time. Uh, but uh, it's just basically, uh, you know, we're going to uh, try to keep this thing going so I can enjoy my hobby, so you can enjoy the channel, so we can open packs together and stay as a community. Um, and I, you know, as the fall and winter hits, I'll be able to dedicate more time to this. So, uh, and I'm excited for that because uh, I want to do, I want to do more videos. Uh, I know a lot of people, a lot of big channels, uh, a lot of the big Pokemon channel channels and. Um, you know, real breaking Nate and uh, and uh, Leonhard. You know, he uh, they only do four videos a, a week, which I totally understand because what they want to do is make the best out of their videos, the best that they can do. So they spend a lot of time editing, uh, which I don't have a lot of time to do right now. So, uh, but as this goes along and as I kind of figure out things and whatnot. I plan on kind of doing it that way. Maybe a few more videos than that. We will see what happens. But I wanted to thank every, each and every one of you, each and every one of you uh, subscribers uh, for subscribing to the channel. It's it, you know it's a it's a blessed thing to have to be able to have this community, um, other content creators, you know, other people that just want to watch and open packs. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, this has honestly been you know a blessing in my life. So. Um, without further ado, let's get into this battle. Um, I haven't even opened it yet, so this is going to be exciting. All right, as you can see, just like I mentioned in the intro, we do. We have a battle. We have a battle. We have Mr. CMT versus Mr. B. Caden versus Trevor. Yes, and I pulled these packs out of our, uh, out of my collection of packs that I made. <clears throat> Maybe one day I'll actually show you. There, where is it? Okay, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll show you a, a big pile of these. I made a whole bunch, so um, no idea what's inside each one. But let's go ahead and uh, crack them and open them and see which, uh, see what goodness we got. Oh, okay, okay. For twenty twenty one, that's good. That's good. Okay. And. Okay, let us see, let us see, Core 2021, let us go. Kaden, are you ready? Are you ready? Mr. Kaden B, you, my friend, get to go first. Let's see what we get. Swamp, yeah, we got a swamp. And a rare, Rada. Uh, check out to see if we get anything uh, of value in these uh, uncommon slots. Uncommon. So I'm not positive on those. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put them on this side. Keep them all together. There we go. 
There we go. Get get some rhythm, get some patterns, and uh, see what we can do. Not positive about those uncommons. I have no idea. And a containment priest. A containment priest. Probably not gonna do it. But up right next to each other there, sir. Boom. Okay. I love this card. Just so you know. I've been, I've been playing with a decent, decent amount of mono white, so actually that's a great card too. Uh, never played this card. So there, there you have it. Oh, look at this core 2020. You're going from 2021 to 2020, and I'm going to Theros. Uh, I gotta be honest, uh, 2020 is one of my favorite sets, so I'm a little bit jealous. Rabbit Bite, man. That was a. Uh, that might be a common worth over 25, but we don't count those. Diviner's block box, or diviners, however you want to pronounce it. The war chief and graph diggers cage, which is actually a fantastic card, especially right now in the uh, current standard meta. And healer of the glade, that actually might be you know 30, 40 cents. I have no idea. Um, the reason I say that is because it's played quite a bit in those elemental decks. Quite a bit. And for Mr. CMT, who is me? We have a Theros. A Theros. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The power of memory. Not a fan. Glimpse of freedom. I haven't really played that card. And well, this is design. Caden. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, Lordy, Lord, Lord, and Lord, Lord, Lord. Well, there's the uh, first Euro I pulled, Euro I pulled in a while. Throwing a bell drain. Let's see if we can pull you and Euro out of this. I'm kidding. Euro's not in here, but let's uh, let's get something super spicy. I feel like pulling an Oko. For a while, I was pulling like an Oko, like every. Seem like every booster box. I haven't pulled one in a while. Lucky Clover, that might get you over 25 cents, who knows? Sierra Conrad, which he was played quite a bit. Uh, he used to be over a quarter, I don't know now. Rare. Oath Sworn Knight, not gonna do it, Caden. Not gonna do it. We need, uh, we need to figure this out for you. Because who knows, maybe I'll pull the mythic right here. But, I didn't say please, so oh, I do have a foil back there because I am terrible at hide, hiding those. A spinning wheel, uh, cauldron's gift, improbable alliance. I do not like this card, but it's played quite a bit actually. A rare, fervent champion. Yes, yes. Mono red and a fling, a foil fling, and yet yeah, people know I love fling. I've mentioned it so much on the channel over the amount of time that I've had the channel. Both get Ikoria. Both get Ikoria. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get you something huge. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh, Offspring's Revenge. That's not huge. And you got a Polywog. Unbreakable Bond. And a Flame Spill. Survivor's Bond. All right, all right. That Uro, it's, he's looking like a champion right now. Let's see what happens. I can't believe we pulled an Uro. I, I did say on multiple videos that the Theros box that was used in this, we haven't pulled very many Mythics out of, from my recollection. And a Luris. Gaiden, I'm not gonna lie, this isn't going well for you, but it usually comes down to the Modern Horizon and the, uh, And whichever, uh, whichever collector's pack you got. So, looks like you got the uh, Core 2021, and looks like I got the Acoria. Guess we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out where the value is at. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Okay. Not used to opening Modern Horizons this way. I do like that card. Lonely Sandbar. I do love the Lonely Sandbar. 
Uh, mainly because of the cycling, but uh, rare for some figure. Great card, probably five, four or five bucks. Um, but you wanted the force of negation. Snow covered island. So. Saw the foil on the back, you know, you know how that does it gets confused with about everything. And let us see what CMT. Is. Ooh, the Baron Moore. Once again, cycling. Lava belly sliver. I do love my slivers. Oh my gosh. Caden, this is just not going, not going so well for you. Sarah, she's not a ton of value. Oh, five bucks, maybe. Again, I'm just guessing. I can't remember. But she's a mythic. A mythic. Okay, let's pull you 15 mythics in here. I don't know if it's ever been done out of a uh, 2021 collector's box. I'd be, I'd love to be the first to, uh, to, to do that. So. I don't know if you guys saw that uh, video the other day, but uh, Cards with Michael explained why the tokens on some of them are in the front and some of them are in the back. Kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Ooh, that's a great card, though. That is a great card. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <sighs> a full box topper, fiery emancipation. Dude. That is a great hit. And a full Monty Shacklegeist. Two showcase cards in a row. Are you gonna beat me with this pack? Wow. Wow, the Tutledge. A steward and a lieutenant. That's at least a buck or so. And the Acolyte. Is there anything behind here? Just a common Goran. Wow. Uh, I don't know the price on those. In fact, I don't even know the price on Uro anymore. So, if this pack is garbage, I think you got me because that Fiery Emancipation's gotta be 30, 40 bucks. I, I could be way off. I could be way off. Okay. It's getting nerve wracking. Straight nerve wracking. Mine leecher. No idea what that's worth. But uh, that's our commander card. We got a rare, voracious great shark. Not, not, not gonna do it. Offspring oh, revenge. Get my own. It's foil, but it doesn't matter. With uh, with the way these values are, it seems like some of the non foils are more expensive. Let's put these commons over here. Rare Sea Dasher Octopus. Now this was would have been a decent price a while ago. It's not so much anymore. Primeval, not gonna happen. Wow, I don't know. I think just based on looking at this, I think you, I think your mythics beat mine. Um, the Shackle Guys doesn't play that much anymore, but it's a box topper that has to be worth seven to ten bucks and that fiery emancipation that's the that's the card that's kind of the iffy for me i don't know uh congratulations if you win and i don't want to open another pack um if you don't win but uh if you win then uh then i gotta say uh i'll send you a pack in the mail i guess i'll send you a pack in the mail wow what a battle I mean, I my regular packs obviously smashed yours, but your collector's pack just brought you right back into it. Congratulations, Caden. I'd say it's a success regardless of those first pulls. So uh, thank you so much. Oh, man. Who knew? Who knew? I thought the Fiery Emancipation might be a little bit more than that, and I wasn't quite sure that the, the Uro still had that type of value. I thought he might have dropped a little bit. Um, with that being said, uh, you did end up with some pretty good cards, Caden. And I don't, I don't know if you want me to tell people, but uh, give me two seconds. Ah, something about coffee from a Star Wars mug always tastes better. K 
Caden is, uh, Caden's 14 years old. I started Magic at the age of 12 or 13. It was in 94, so I'm thinking it was probably 12. Um, so when young people get into Magic, it just warms my heart. I hope my kids get into Magic. Um, when my kids are 14, man, I think we could just have a lot of fun, fun with uh, my kids and their friends. And so uh, with that being said, I'm gonna send you something special, Caden, because uh, I do appreciate young people uh, taking an interest in, in, in Magic the Gathering. There's nothing wrong with Magic the Gathering. And uh, it, it's, it's one of the better things and more constructive things people or kids could do. I mean, literally, it gets you thinking. You have to strategize, which is what you're gonna do the rest of your life. Um, and it's keeping you off the street, out of trouble, like all that other stuff. So um, I fully promote that. And uh, man, I really appreciate you uh, you stepping into the plate and wanting to get in with the get in the ring with the big dog here so um honestly i thought you had me i at the end of the video i was like dude i think he took me it's gonna be close it's not quite as close as i uh, as i thought um but uh but it was pretty darn close so uh with that being said i will send you something a little extra there caden because i do appreciate uh, you being a young buck and uh just being such a good kid so um so thank you so much. Uh, with that being said, uh, the Uro, um, I finally pulled an Uro and I've owed somebody an Uro on this channel for a long while, for a long while. So um, I have to take this one off the table. I'm sorry guys, I know I wanted it available for the uh, giveaway, but uh, honestly, uh, there's some, there's plenty of great cards to, to choose from uh, on this giveaway and I need this Uro. I mean, I don't even have an Uro on my binder. It's crazy. It's just, I, I've, I think I've given out a, maybe about, a, I don't know, six of them. There was that one pack, my very first thir uh, Theros box that we opened, like right when the set came out, the day it came out. And the very last pack, I pulled two Uros, one foil, one, <laughs> one regular. I don't know if you guys remember that, if you've been around that long, but that was a pretty insane pack. And then I kept the foil one. Um, and then I ended up giving it to my brother. So uh, that's what happened with that one. And that's why it's not in my binder. But uh, all the other ones that I pulled on the channel, I've given out and I think I pulled two extended arts. I can't, I, I can't remember. I don't think either of them were foil, but two extended arts. And then I, I pulled at least one or two more. So uh, I've given away a lot of Uros and um, this one's <laughs> the same I got to give this one out plus three other cards to you guys but I owe it to somebody so I need it so just so you know so I apologize I apologize but there's a lot of great cards to win from there and um, this Uro is going to a happy home so with that being said thanks so much to Caden for stepping in the ring with me and just having a good time and uh, I thought both our packs were pretty home runish. so if that is a word I think it is. I'm gonna call, if it's not, I'm gonna call Webster. I'm gonna call Webster and have home run -ish put in there. That's good, I like that. So, you guys know what to do. Please subscribe, like the video, comment the cards you want. Make sure you're paying it forward to the Magic community. People like Caden, you know? People that are like good kids that, that need a little assistance. They don't have money on their own. They're probably relying on, you know, their, their, their parents to uh, get them Magic cards for their birthday or whatever. I mean, when I was a kid, I struggled to get money just so I could go down to the, my comics store and, and buy some magic cards. So um, pay it forward to somebody, you know what I mean? And uh, you know, maybe share the video. I'd appreciate that. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video.